Hey, what's up guys? Kenneth here with the LEGO Republic, and today we're going to be reviewing the 70402 Gatehouse Raid LEGO set from 2013. So I do hope you guys enjoy this LEGO set. This is one of my favorite LEGO Castle sets, and so we're going to get into this right now with the minifigures. First guys, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, it's mucho appreciated, and also like the video at the end if you do appreciate this video, so thank you in advance for that. So the first minifigure here is the bad guy's Spearman, he looks pretty nice in his um, armor torso there, it's with the better torso, more for the, um, not scoundrels and ruffians of the army, but for the little higher ranking people. So he has a very interesting face there that only comes in, I believe, two Lego sets, this one and the, um, the cart one. I totally forget what that one's called, but yes. And so since it is a special face, it does not have a back face like the basic um, Lego castle bad guys do, so there's no face back there. Um, just the front. He has a really nice spear made of uh, dark gray and it kind of shines which is really cool to see. On the back print it's just that uh, torso that I talked about before. There's nothing special. Uh, he does have leg printing so that is really cool that he has leg printing probably because he is a commander or some sort of a higher ranking bad dude. To counter him, you have the good guy, Spearman, with his silver spear and um, nice torso print. I mean, it's all the same for all of them, pretty much. This is one of like the three torso prints for the good guy characters. And that face is pretty generic. There's nothing underneath that. It's just a smiling face. And there's no back face either. So, um... Not very impressive, but it is a minifigure to counter the other guy's spearman. And there is a shield on the top of the uh, quote-unquote castle that you can give to this guy so that he can have a, uh, a shield as well as a spear. So, um, pretty interesting, just because you get this nice spearman to counter the other spearman that I just went over. Next up, you have the good guy knight, which is kind of a knockoff of the real good guy knight. But um, yeah, uh, it's still kind of the same. It has that um, nice top thing there with the blue, the little feathers. It's got a shield and the same sword. So interesting. Also, you have the same armor plating. I'm just gonna pull off his shield and sword for a second so that you can get a better look at him. The shield just is looks like that, so that's why his hand is turned, if you were wondering. Uh, but yeah, um, he's got leg printing, like the knights, uh, very nice. You see, his helmet is very uh, different than uh, any other helmet. This is the only helmet that looks like this in the entire LEGO Castle wave from 2013, um, which was the, the only wave, have I ever mentioned that. But yeah, his helmet comes off, and his head came off with it, so we're gonna try and get his head out right now. But first, actually, since his head is off, let's just examine this armor. So underneath the arm, you have that um, torso, but it, I mean, it doesn't really matter at all because you never see it. But uh, the armor is pretty nice. This is the same armor that's on the, the other knight. And yeah, that's just, if you were wondering, that's what that is. His face is one of a kind. It's the only face in this Lego cast wave that looks like that. No uh, back face because he is special. That seems to be what Lego Castle is doing here. So while he is kind of like a knockoff knight, he does still look pretty cool with his shield and his armor and the sword and a very nice helmet. And so they, they do go t pretty good together side by side in your army. Of course, this guy has a horse, so you have like your chief captain and then your captain. But yeah, it's pretty good. And it's also a, a pretty uh, high level knight, I guess, for those uh, people who are um, do not have the money to buy the real knight in the, the big castle. To counter the good guy knight, you have the bad guy knight, and he looks pretty sweet. He's basically the same as the bad guy knight from the Lego castle, the big king's castle set. If you haven't seen my review on that, make sure to do so. But yeah, he's exactly the same, except he has a long shield, so instead of the 
the short shield, he has the long shield, so um, he it makes him a pretty more formidable, formidable opponent for your good guy knight. So uh, your good guy knight is outmatched because he does not have as long of a sword, and this guy has a longer shield, so and a horse. But uh, yeah, a pretty sweet knight. This is the only set where you get like the main bad guy knight to counteract your really good good guy knight uh and i i say his horse has some redstone armor on uh it, it looks really sweet we're gonna get in that into that in a second uh just the generic knight face for him um yeah there's nothing special you see that uh nice armor plating um it just looks like armor plating i don't really know what to say about it um you got the back with his alternate face and these are the knight faces so they do have alternate faces but um i mean they, they do look pretty good like that's a nice expression right there uh but yeah now we're gonna see him on his horse this knight in shining black armor and look good he does on his horse like dang that is one nice bad guy knight to counteract the good guy knight from the castle I mean, just, just look at that. Uh, if that thing is coming at you and attacking you, um, I would be running away. So, um, yeah, really nice design. And obviously, the horse can uh, kick its legs back. Um, so you can make him, like, pretty cool uh, looking to counteract the uh, other knight from the previous Lego castle. Quickly before I do that though, I did want to point out the instruction manual. There's nothing fancy, but here is the instruction manual. It looks like the box art, and it looks kind of cool, I guess, so um, yeah, there's an instruction manual for you. The last thing is the catapult, so uh, nothing fancy. It's got those same wheels as the other catapult from the Lego castle set, but um, yeah, I, I think they look really awesome together uh, side by side because they both have the same looking wheels and they are slightly different, um, differently built, but uh, this one is like your standard catapult. Simply, you just like push down and it shoots. Like there's nothing to it. It's got these two of these uh, flame pieces, so these little cylinders that are colored translucent orange. So they're like flaming fireballs that you can load into the catapult and shoot. So pretty cool. And this is to counteract the catapult feature on the actual gatehouse. And here's the gatehouse and it looks pretty sweet. So a slightly different kind of walls than the actual castle, but they do work with the castle. And you actually are able to connect it to the castle if you do want to do that. We've got some nice detailing with those King's stickers right there. I think they look really good. You've got some torches, and you've got that little crossbow section. You've got this nice shield up here, which LEGO likes. Lego Castle likes to do to show uh, which castle it is, if the flags and the blue coloring wasn't enough. And I have a shield that shows the lion, so I usually take them down and give it to another person, like the Spearman dude. I usually give it to him, but on the box it shows him as kind of like a skirmisher from Age of Empires 2, if you've ever seen that. You just throw in the, the spears like crazy. But anyway, you've got this little bit of gold up here as well, which it falls down on the box art, and they're trying to raid it and grab the gold, which is, um, I guess it's pretty cool, but I usually just leave that gold up there. It does look kind of good. It does look like it belongs there, I guess. Maybe that's just from years of me looking at it. But um, if we turn this around, you can see the little catapult, obviously. I don't need to show that to you. If you turn this around, here's the uh, back of it. You've got the gate, obviously. You've got that little crossbowman section. You've got a jail, and then you have those uh, walls. So pretty fun. Let's get right into the catapult, which simply and believe it or not you just load these little cylinder pieces into it and it works just like the other catapults and you just kind of shoot it and it goes out and they give you a whole ton of ammo for this catapult so that is pretty cool and it works to counteract the uh, bad guy catapult which is um, attacking the castle or the gatehouse might add so um yeah pretty pretty cool lego seems to do like the counteracting catapults and castles like on the castle you have that cannon and also the uh catapult where did that go where is the catapult what the heck where's my catapult okay i don't know where the catapult is but um yeah it, it counteracts and then here you've got like the cylinder catapults which are uh, equal, equalizing the, I don't even know what the word is, they're making it fair, I guess, with the catapults, like, no, 
no one side has a better catapult than the other, as I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So I'm um, pretty neat with the Lego Castle. Obviously, if they're making this, they're targeting this at little kids, but um, I'm always a fan of like medieval knights and Lego castles. So um, that is the, um, the mechanism there uh, for the catapult. There's not there's not really anything fancy to it. Now we get into these little sections right here. And just like in the Lego castle, the King's Castle, you can pull it apart like this, which makes it really nice because you can actually connect it to the King's Castle. Watch my King's Castle video at around the 20 minute mark or something and you should see that. Uh, but yeah, um, it just kind of connects in the same way. Uh, this is the jail, so we'll get into this first and then we'll just kind of go through there. So, I mean, it's a jail, it opens up, you can put a, a bad guy figure in there if you wanted to do so close it up on him I wouldn't try to fit more than just one person in there but um, you could try if you did want to also you can fit a person on the top here on the wall just like kind of guarding the wall or whatever um, but yeah that's what you can do with that section and then the gatehouse believe it or not it is a gate so it just kind of opens like this and you have to do it manually there's no fancy crank or anything like on the king's castle to open this you literally just use your hands and, and move it uh, but the thing is here that there is no sort of locking mechanism for this gate like if you close that king castle's gate there's no way that anyone's gonna get in with like a battle ram or anything unless the kid who's playing with it pretends that it got through but like physically nothing unless you break the entire structure like nothing's gonna get through that gate but here literally all you have to do is like take a battering ramp and you can literally just open the gate so um not very good for a defensive standpoint but at the same time you could put some sort of a locking mechanism on it so if you took that's not gonna work something like this and then just kind of uh, attached it to the back of the gate then um they would have a lot harder time getting through the gate but there is no no piece like this included with the lego set so that's kind of unfortunate that you're not able to lock this gate because it is the gatehouse and in my mind this is like the, the the border of the king of the kingdom and all the bad guys they have to get through this border post before they can get through um all the rest of it and get to the king's castle so in my mind, this is just like the border post, and you could potentially have like four of them, one for each side, uh, with the gatehouse to block people from entering who are not good people. Next up, we have the crossbowman's spot. So you've got this little silver bow and arrow, cross, cross bow and arrow, and it looks pretty good. Um, just nice and silver, which are pretty rare actually, the silver ones. Usually you get uh, gray ones or black ones, but uh, yeah, the silver is nice. Again, you could put a minifigure on the top there, but we can do more than that actually is put the minifigure inside where the crossbow men spot is. You can have him be the crossbowman if you can see him there shooting whoever. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, nice feature that you're able to shoot the crossbowman uh, arrow at whoever is attacking, like say the say the, the bad guy is attacking, then you can shoot him with the crossbow. I mean, it makes good play for kids, so I, I mean, I just love the feature, and I think it looks really good. All in all, just an amazing set, uh, so thank you guys for watching this video. I do hope that you guys did enjoy this. Uh, when I got the set, it was for $30, and that is just a steal, in my opinion, for this LEGO set. Actually, fun fact, I got it on Amazon. It was going to charge me like $5 or $7 for shipping. Then I got the Forest Ambush, which is kind of like the battle pack to go along with it. And then I got free shipping because of it, so it actually cost less to get more LEGOs. And I thought that was really funny, but um, that doesn't really apply to this. So sorry about that. But yes, a, a great LEGO set to be sure with the gatehouse raid. Not really sure why the um, gate is wide open on the instructions and the box art, but um, yeah, I kept it closed in my little scenario there. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you did enjoy. Um, make sure to check out my Lego castle video if you are interested in this sort of thing. Also other rumors and stuff along the Star Wars line, which is completely different. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. This is Kenneth from the Lego Republic, and I'll see you next time.